New this afternoon, we now know when Karen Reed will be heading back to court. And this all coming after a mistrial was declared in her murder trial earlier this month. Our NBC 10's Eli Rosenberg joining us live in Denham with the new details this afternoon. Eli. And this hearing, Priscilla, lasted just over four and a half minutes, but it really set the calendar for the coming months when we talk about the Reed case. Out here, hundreds of people, emotions were high. Karen Reed back in court for the first time since a mistrial was declared in her high profile murder case. And once inside, a quick status hearing setting the calendar for what happens next. Reed is charged with hitting her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe, with her SUV back in January 2022. Her nine week murder trial. I'm declaring a mistrial in this case. Ending after that mistrial was declared following five days of jury deliberation. And since Reed's lawyers have filed a motion to dismiss the charges against her, saying they have heard from five jurors that say the jury reached unanimous verdicts that Reed wasn't guilty on two of the three charges, but that those verdicts were never conveyed to the judge. It speaks volumes that nobody has come forward to contradict what they've said. <laughs> Outside today's status here in more than 150 people supporting Karen Reed, including Mike Brooks, who drove in from New Hampshire. This crowd is here for Karen. We got no quit. We ain't stopping. Also out here, more than a dozen people saying they support O'Keefe, including his former neighbor. He was a good neighbor. He took care of his two kids, his niece and nephew. I mean, he stepped up to the plate. He had a heart of gold. And he didn't deserve what he got. So we learned the plan moving forward during this hearing this afternoon, including the fact that oral arguments on that motion to dismiss will be scheduled for August 9th. That's a Friday at 2 p.m. with Karen Reed's second trial now slated for late January 2025. By Vendetta, Eli Rosenberg, NBC 10 Boston.